TV India and here's our review of Tron Legacy directed by Joseph Kozinski starring Jeff Bridges, Garrett Hedlin, Olivia Wilde, Bruce Boxleaper, <laughs> um, Michael Sheen, Bo Garrett, um, let's see. Um, great cast and this film is uh, the follow-up sequel to uh, the original Tron and um, this film is about the son of for those who don't know uh, um, I'll say to this film this film is about the son of the famous video game developer creator yeah and uh, and uh, he grew up as that would tell stories about this world of Tron and what it was, but that was very busy. So when uh, his when one day his dad goes missing, so um, his dad's name is Kevin Flynn, something in this um Sanford. In the first film, it was Kevin Flynn who went into the game first, and now it's uh, well now Sam is a young man now and um this. Company that the father built is now has different owners now, but one of the board members used to, to take care of Sam, was a great family friend who helped out with the young man named Alan. And he wants Sam to you know, come work out because the same as who he wants to, but until he goes into one of the old arcade, Flynn's arcade, and he finds one of the Tron uh, arcades, you know, one of the arcade units. And he turns it on, and this music starts playing, and then he gets, then he gets into the game. He's in, and you see how different Tron is now than it was in the first film. And um, controlled by this program called Flu, who that um Kevin made when he first when he was younger. And so you see a young Kevin, yeah. And it's not bad CGI. It's just it just doesn't seem very. It just doesn't really look like a real person to me. Like some people say, like this is like an action figure. I I do kind of with that fear of flight. It seems kind of like like you know computer animation. It can make things seem kind of plastic. Like the penny and how you program and everything. It doesn't look plastic. Like it just doesn't look super convincing. It's pretty convincing. It's just not super convincing. But um, Kevin is really there, is really there too. But he's in a separate. He's in like a little. He's like he has his own building. In Tron, he's not ruling over it. Well, he, he doesn't have control of it like he used to. But in Sam, he meets up with his dad and this young lady that lives in this. Uh, see, so Sam is the user. Like, everyone else lives in Tron. Like, everyone else is part of the game system. Like, you know how you play, you know like, how you play a game? Like, let's say it's a fighting game, right? And you play and uh, the other person and the computer is playing against you. Yeah, like a fighting game. So yeah, everyone else is just a computer program. And it's absolutely the only real person, user in the game. But besides his dad, of course, but everyone else is a user program. And so he's helping get trying how he used to be with his dad and this lady. It's really well done. Uh, I feel like it could have been cool if they kind of took the original film out there a little bit. Like this is like a different kind of world than the first one was a little bit. Not bad. I feel like they could have explored it a little bit more. And of course, we want to see the Tron cycles and everything. It would have been cool if they had a few more like objectives they had to do in the game. Yeah, but it wasn't that bad. It was really well done. It's one so wonderful. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, great overall. Thank you so much for watching. And these videos will last for the infinity.